So uh, here we are um, in the sense that the occupation continues on the ground, and also there is a great belief among the Israelis that uh, uh, they, there is no enough international pressure to pressure them you know, to end uh, the occupation. On November 29th, the United Nations observed the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. Since 1977, the UN encourages member states to give the widest support and publicity to the observance of this Day of Solidarity. By the end of this year, and now in the coming December, there's a resolution in the General Assembly is going to be adopted to, recon to consider 2017 the year of ending the Israeli occupation. And we hope that the international community and the blind supporters of Israel should realize that because reaching a peaceful agreement now with the Israelis is good for the Israelis for the future. If they didn't agree with this vision, I think it will be too late for them and for us. And by de facto, Palestine and Israel it become one state uh, by de facto and no one can guarantee that it should stay Israel. In November this year in Spain, for the first time, Israeli and Palestinian religious leaders signed a joint declaration for a solution to the conflict that recognizes the right of the two peoples to exist with dignity. But to get them photographed publicly and to sign publicly on a statement, on an action plan, which we're now going to do with hundreds and hundreds of young rabbis and young Islamists together, who are committed to change our reality and to take responsibility for there not to be more bloodshed and for urging the political leaders to do what they're not doing, to make a political agreement. In 2015, the Vatican signed a treaty with the state of Palestine and promoted support for the two-state solution. Policy stands very firmly behind two state solutions. And this solution is also today maintained with all the premises that are shared with the international community. Pope Francis invited all the parties involved with two words to generosity and to creativity. And I think exactly what is needed is generosity. You have to be generous to solve such a difficult question. And creative, it means look for the new solutions. And the Holy See stands behind these words. The Palestinian flag was raised at the UN in New York in September 2015 and at the UN Geneva in October 2015.